Hey guys, what's going on? Tony here, CCXRC, and we've got a boat on the bench, the Atomic RC Barbed Wire 2. This is the follow-up to the very well-received, much-liked Barbed Wire. Uh, it's a 17-inch version, and uh, unfortunately right now we've got a lot of freeze out on our water here. It's uh, January, and uh, we've just gotten a weird cold snap here in Virginia. Normally I'd be able to take it out and run it, so uh, hopefully this weekend it's actually going to warm up and we'll get it out on the, uh, the water and test it out for you guys. But until then, let's go ahead and open up the box and let's see what we get inside. Alright, so here it is, the packaging, up close and personal. Uh, you know, first things is it's very eye-catching with the uh, photo of the boat, the bright colors, the yellow, black, white, I love it. Um, it's fully ready to run. It comes with everything that you need pretty much in the box. We'll see if it has the double A's or not, but it does have your battery, a charger, the boat, all of that. Uh, so it's a Venom 75C 1300 milliamp hour 3S LiPo battery. Uh, it's got the CNC aluminum alloy rudder and an upgraded water-cooled brushless motor system in here. It's powered by Venom Atomic RC. I don't know people whether or not they know, but it's um, they own or whatever Venom is a part of the same company so that's really cool I've been running Venom batteries since I got into the hobby and they've been really great really great support and all of that uh, for any of the batteries that I've had issues with uh, but let's go ahead and let's take a look at this we'll open it up let's see if we need to cut some tape or something I don't see any tape it should open one thing you guys will know if you uh, watch the channel and the show I'm terrible at opening boxes I always struggle to get them open. All right, so everything is packaged really nice in here. It does have the AA battery, so it is really fully ready to run. So that's really cool. Uh, we've got the instruction manual here, and we'll start going through and looking at everything that comes here in the box, uh, starting with the manual. So it's got a really glossy, nice cover on it. It's not very big manual, um, but it talks about charging, your controller use, a pre-run checklist, installing the battery, uh, boat care, maintenance, all of that good stuff that you want to take a look at this. It's very short. You can just run through the, the manual very quickly before you run it, and I'm going to do that as well. Um, so let's go ahead and pull out the controller next, the transmitter. So here it is. We've got our steering rates, trims, throttle trim. So steering rate right, steering rate left looks like and then a reverse so it looks like an upgrade from the previous controller that came with the original one uh, feels pretty good in the hand so it's going to take four AA batteries because that's what I saw in the box and those are included Duracell they didn't even go uh, cheap on the batteries they uh, went full on Duracell so that's pretty cool alright so here's the battery 1300 milliamp hour 75C running XT connector on it so it looks good got some velcro on the back of it so you can stick it in place comes with the boat stand kind of doing this in an order so that i'll be able to put that down onto the stand when it comes to it got a little baggie here with more velcro um, little tool an extra plastic prop and some zip ties and what do we got here so this is going to be your charger which is going to be a balance lead charger which looks pretty nice start stop on it we'll have to see how fast that charges up the battery and then the plug for it the instructions for the charger and what do we got here another this is your battery uh, instructions but here's what we want to see it is the boat itself let's get it out of here and let's get it on its stand all right guys so here is the sexy beast the atomic barbed wire 2 I really like the graphics on this, the colors. I think it's really going to stand out when it's on the water and uh, going 30 plus miles an hour in a little 17 inch boat like this, so you're going to want to be able to see it. Now it will be kicking up water, so it should be pretty obvious, but still very, very sharp design. A quick look on the exterior of it, what we've got, it's, so it's 17 inches long. We've got this rudder here that's the CNC uh, machined aluminum. It's got the stainless steel uh, turn fins and the trim tabs here on the bottom and uh, the nylon prop which it comes with a spare one of those as well 
Uh, so you got your antenna on the top, and on the side here is where the um, the water cooling is going to exit. So it, it comes in through the bottom here, and we'll see the tubing on the inside when we open this up. So there's a little tab here on the top. We'll just flip this, and then we'll pop it and pull backward, and it'll basically pop right open like that for us. We'll get a look at the inside, what we've got here. Starting in the back of the boat, we've got the uh, 9G Micro Servo. Um, we've got the receiver. It looks like a three-channel receiver. It is the uh, part number 18092 FHSS. Uh, it says four-channel receiver. Uh, we've got the water-cooled brushless motor here. You can see the tubing that comes in and traces up along. It goes across the 30 amp ESC, which is tucked in under this foam in the front, and then it goes across the motor and out the side. Um, so it's using the XD connectors here, and your battery will strap right in there on the Velcro. So very simple. It's got a metal drive shaft coming right from the brushless motor, and then go straight out to your prop on the back. Uh, very simple, very clean design. We'll take a quick look at the bottom. Uh, nice, nice lines on the bottom here. Not very deep, it's a speedboat. So it should, should be a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't done an RC boat before, so I'm very, very excited about this. Um, one of the things that this offers as well is that it has the self-writing ability where if you get upside down, you don't have to get in the recovery boat of shame. You can just push the steering all the way to one side or the other and write it. And so, and then it'll just take right off. Now the time you might need that recovery boat is if you're not paying attention to run times and your battery runs out. And then my friend, you will be sitting in the recovery boat of shame, hopefully with a paddle to get you out to the boat. Uh, or maybe you've got an electric boat to get you out there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do because I don't have a boat. I've got a little dinghy that my kids use in the pool. Uh, so uh, I may, hopefully will not have to use that. We'll probably put it in the car just in case, unless I can get my neighbor to take me out where he goes fishing and, uh, and run the boat and show him uh, how it works. All right, guys, so that's a quick look at the Atomic RC Barbed Wire 2, the 17-inch version. This is their new boat that's following up on the very, very well-reviewed Atomic Barbed Wire. And I'm really excited to run this. Like I said, uh, this is going to be my first chance to run an RC boat. And so I'm really, really geeked about it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about it, maybe I didn't answer something that you were hoping to find out when you came to this video, be sure to uh, ask in the comments below. Uh, if I don't know the answer to it, I'll reach out to Atomic RC and get an answer for you. Hopefully, uh, we'll have some run video for you here very soon, guys. Thanks for tuning in and have fun RCing. Catch you next time.